Two days from now, you're going to be watching us broadcast from the great New York State Fair Live. There's nobody more excited than News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan. So excited, he went to the fairgrounds today to take on the tough assignment of trying new fair food just to make sure it tastes good enough for you. In a week's time, this place now looks like the fair. In order for me to best prepare for 13 days of assignments at the state fair, the director takes me around. We hit the hot spots like the new observation tower, which we're allowed in, and the new expo center, which we are not. But this tour, like most, isn't complete without something to eat. We begin with the marriage of desserts and drinks, alcoholic ice cream. Churned in Sherburne, the guys at Gilligan's have been tweaking recipes with local beer, wine, and hard cider for years. But with a recent change in state law, we'll bring it to the fair for the first time, if you're 21 or older. The challenge is the freezing point. Uh, that's what really took the time because of the alcohol changes the freezing point of the ice cream, and then as well as blending the flavors. Most people don't think beer and ice cream go well together, but it's got a really smooth taste to it. Fried Specialties has done it again, introducing the heart attack. It's two Hoffman hot dogs stuffed with chili and cheese, wrapped with bacon, deep fried, of course, topped with cheese sauce, jalapenos, and yes, even Hershey's chocolate on top. They say that takes away the bite a little bit. Let me give it a try. It's perfect. I was scared of the chocolate for some reason. It just freaked me out. But it, you eat it and it all comes together. I mean, you have the hotness from the pepper, you have the chocolate, you have the hot dogs, you have the chili, you have the nacho cheese. I didn't think it would be good, and I got to tell you, for whatever it's worth, I endorse it. And it's a Hoffman. Oh, yes, definitely. Hey, it's local. Is there anything better? How many calories? Uh, couldn't even tell you. Doesn't matter. We're at the fair. And you'll get to join us in just two days at the fairgrounds. Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. No counting calories at the fair. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, all eyes will be on the Dairy Products Building for the unveiling of the Butter Sculpture. Last year's masterpiece was a tribute to state police, which celebrated its 100th anniversary last year. Tomorrow's reveal is set for 9.30 a.m. We, of course, will be there and will live stream the big reveal at localsyr.com. Be sure to join News Channel 9 at the